separating the wheat from the chaff. And it's a time of polarization where the grays become disappearing and you are end up with blacks and whites. You're ending up with light and darkness. And it is time to be not intimidated. It's time to be stronger for God right now. I do believe that God has grace. I believe that also that through shaking, God's purpose is revival. I believe as a nation, we've come to a point so hard and deafened to God that it's going to take him shouting for there to be revival. Remember, after 9-11, everybody was flocking to churches, but there was no revival because there was no repentance. You can have no revival without repentance. And so I believe, that, I believe that's the dynamic, that the point is that God is, is, in fact, if we didn't have a shaking, then I'd say there's almost no hope. But the fact is, I believe through shaking, God is calling for revival, and this could be the greatest revival in the midst of judgment that has ever been. What has, what has it done to your faith as you see all these ancient patterns being fulfilled over, 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 over? I've been blown away. I mean, I mean, when, when, the, when, the, when it started with the Harbinger, I was just, I was sitting back and just being blown away, blown away, blown away. And I just marvel at God. And, you know, even, and not only, not only the, you know, these mysteries, but how then the Lord brought it. You alluded to one. And even how it became, it went forth to America. It happened all through a supernatural move of God. I know that everything is in God's hands. I mean, I know that, that God is in charge of everything. I mean, we know that theologically, but I know that in every way. And so I'm just amazed. I know that God is charting this. I know that there's a purpose, a strategy. It's not just about a book or a t- it's a strategy from God that he warns before judgment so that when it comes, it won't, people won't be able to say, okay, that just happened, but God is calling. That's the point. So I, I, I am amazed. I'm in awe. It only humbles me. Okay, another question, Joseph. I do. Tanya is asking, what are your thoughts on a pre-tribulation rapture? <laughs> I, am, I am solidly, passionately pan-trip. I that went pan-trip? That's yeah. not on my list. <laughs> Well, let me, let me introduce the doctrine of pan-trib. Pan-trib is that it's all going to pan out in the end. <laughs> I like that. But you know, you know what's even more important than that? It's not when you're raptured. It's will you be raptured? We'll be right back in a moment. <laughs> Rabbi Jonathan Kahn stunned millions in America and around the world with God's prophetic revelation in his New York Times bestseller, The Harbinger, and then in his book, The Mystery of the Shemitah Revealed, which foretells current events. Now he uncovers what's beyond The Harbinger and The Shemitah. What is next? Call right now to get Rabbi Jonathan Kahn's exclusive offer, which includes his six-part prophetic audio CD revelation, newest prophetic mysteries revealed, plus his powerful DVD, The Mystery of the Shemitah Unlocked. Yours for a donation of $49. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9344. The Shemitah impacts and transforms the realms of economics, production, trade, labor, consumption, commerce, finance, credit, and debt. In judgment, the Shemitah could even determine a nation's existence or the lack of it. This exclusive six-part prophetic audio CD series is not available anywhere else. It contains revelations not contained anywhere else. Understand what's next beyond the Harbinger and the Shemitah. What lies ahead in the wake of this Shemitah year? What does Iran have to do with biblical prophecy concerning warning and judgment? What will happen to America if its faltering relationship with Israel continues? What is the return of the second Harbinger? What significance is the Elijah paradigm? What is the act of desecration that precedes judgment? And how can we prevent it? What are concrete steps we can do to prepare practically and spiritually? How can you and your family survive, overcome, and prosper during the approaching storm? How can you be a part of the greatest revival of all time that is yet to take place on planet Earth? This six-part prophetic audio CD series is only available through this It's Supernatural TV offer. Just before judgment comes to any country, historically, biblically, in the Old Testament, God would raise up a Jewish prophet. And just before the Messiah returns to Israel, God is raising up Jewish prophets. You must heed what God has revealed to them. I believe Rabbi Jonathan Kahn has been raised up by God 
for this moment in history. Rabbi Jonathan Kahn's powerful DVD, The Mystery of the Shemitah Unlocked, is like nothing you've ever seen. With riveting visuals and illustrations, the prophecies concerning Shemitah and beyond will be understood like never before. This is also a great DVD to show or give to your unsaved or lukewarm loved ones and friends. If there's anything in your life that's not in the will of God, get it out now. Don't say tomorrow, do it now. If there's anything that should be in your life, that God is calling you to, but it's not in your life, don't say, I'll do it tomorrow, do it now. Time is short. Don't delay in getting Rabbi Jonathan Kahn's exclusive offer, which includes his six-part prophetic audio CD revelation, Newest Prophetic Mysteries Revealed, plus his powerful DVD, The Mystery of the Shemitah Unlocked, yours for a donation of $49. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9344. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Hey, you know, this is fun. I really like this. Jonathan, what is the mystery of the seventh Shemitah? Okay, every seven years was the Shemitah year, but every seven Shemitahs was the 49th or, or seventh Shemitah ushers in a super Shemitah, which we know as the Jubilee. During the Jubilee, key thing is restoration. Everybody gets restored to their home. You lost your home, you lost your land. Everyone shall return home and get it back. Well, here's the thing. Israel has lost its home for 2,000 years. They were driven out by the Romans. Right. According to end time prophecy, Messiah can't come again until they come back home. Well, that's a restoration. That's a jubilee for the people of Jubilee. So could this mystery of the seventh Shemitah, the jubilee, actually give us the time period, exact parameters of end time events? And that, the answer is amazingly yes. Here's the thing, without going into all the detail, one is the, the Jubilee has to happen the year after a Shemitah, has to be. So here it is. Here's the period. It's 1917. This, this Shemitah determines the period being is going to be September 1917, September 1918. What happens during that time? The land of Israel has been in the hand of Muslims for, for ages. All of a sudden, the Turkish Empire collapses in World War II. The British Empire marches in at that time and takes Jerusalem. Actually, the, the general, General Allenby, when he was a little boy, every day he prayed, Lord, restore your ancient land to your ancient people. Every day. God used him to, to fulfill it. So all of a sudden, Israel is, is, in, is in the hands of the British Empire. They say, we give it back to be a Jewish homeland, the Balfour Declaration. When does this restoration, first time in 2,000 years, happens right in the time appointed, this prophetic time? Following the seven, now, what happens if you go seven Shemitahs into the future? Then when is the next one? The next time period determined is September 1966 to September 1967. Did anything significant happen Very. in restoration? In that time, the, the Israeli soldiers stormed the Lion's Gate, get to the Western Wall, and there they are restored to Jerusalem after 2,000 years. Everyone shall return home in the exact appointed time of restoration, and they sound the shofar. How, that's that's Jubilee. How could anyone? be a non-believer when they see how precise these things are. It has to be. Messiah can't come until that happens. And it's not only we've known, I mean, that this happened, but it's actually in the precise time period. And the man who sounds the shofar at the temple is Rabbi Shlomo Goren, born in 1917, the other jubilee. It's his jubilee as he sounds Israel's jubilee. So all these things happen now. Here's the thing. Does God have to continue? And he doesn't. But if he does, when is the next one? The next cycle? The next seven Shemitah is the year 2015. This is the ancient this cycle. Now, it, the period that is determined is September 2015 to September 2016. Now, now again, God can do whatever he pleases, but if it follows the pattern, what it would mean is war. Each time has been war. It will be war in the Middle East, major war, and concerning Israel ending with the next end time restoration, if, if it is so. But that's the cycle. Okay, uh, we have a question, Joseph. You may have just hit on it, but Terry is asking, do you think that this is the final jubilee? The final jubilee. Well, if the Lord doesn't come in the next 50 years, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, uh, you know 
you know, let me just say this too. This too. We, we don't know dogmatically when they, we don't have records in the temple of when they celebrated that. Uh, so you, it's all, but prophetically, this is where it goes. Prophetically, it's this cycle that goes now to, to 2015 and 16. Okay. The thing that is so amazing to me, Jonathan, is we understand.